Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope that you guys are all having an amazing Friday today. It is currently about 4.31 a.m. as I record this, and we have some exciting stuff to talk about, right? So first and foremost, before we jump into this video, I do just want to say, if you guys are holding HBAR, I just want you guys to tell me in the comments below how long you plan on holding HBAR for. Uh, but also, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and turning notifications on. And also, if you guys aren't new to the channel, or even if you guys are new, uh, definitely consider leaving a like on this video if you guys did enjoy. So, let's read into this. So, this tweet is coming from Crypto Sleeping Giants, uh, Crypto S Giants, if you will. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because, hey, you know, we have a sleeping giant right in front of us, Adara. Uh, but he's basically saying... Bank of France and Swiss National Bank begin cross-border CBDC experiment. They will work with a private sector consortium uh, believed to be the Interwork Alliance, IWA. Hedera and Accenture are key players in the IWA. Now, I, I did see a lot of people speculating if XRP will be utilized in this experiment. Uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, what we're about to read will pretty much kind of pinpoint us to pretty much see that, you know, it's a big chance that HBAR will be utilized in this experiment. So let's read into this. So first and foremost, I do have to zoom in on this, and I do apologize for it being a little bit blurry. It is what it is. It's a phone a screen capture, so it is what it is, like I said. So we see Bank of France, Swiss National Bank, begin cross-border CBDC experiment, guys. This is absolutely what I and many of you have been waiting for. We see Coindesk report that the Bank of France and the Swiss, Swiss sorry, National Bank are starting a joint cross-border central bank digital currency, CBDC, uh, experiment dubbed Project Eura. Full report is here. What is really interesting in part of the report is, and he pretty much screenshot it here. I got to zoom in a little bit. Uh, in an announcement Thursday, the Swiss National Bank said it will work with the bank for international settlements. Um, and then we also see Innovation Hub and a private sector consortium led by Accenture to experiment with wholesale CBDCs for cross-border settlement. The private sector consortium of companies includes the Swiss uh, investment bank Credit Suisse. I, I don't know. I can't really see that. It's very blurry. But uh, we see Naxis. I think that's just Swiss. I, I, I want to say Swiss. I don't know. Uh, R3. Uh, S-I-X or S-I-I-X. It's very hard to read this, so I do apologize. I'm just not going to actually announce those because I am butchering them, as you guys can tell. So uh, the Swiss National Bank said it, w it has already been investigating tokenized assets with wholesale CBDCs. Uh, now, you might be wondering, what the heck is that private sector consortium? Probably have a look at the following news published on Forbes. Full details can be found here. And then here is the second part to this, right? So we see pretty much Swiss National Bank said it will work with uh, the bank and then private sector consortium by center R3 alright so it was six digital exchange and then UBS and then down here is the next part so on Tuesday the interwork Alliance IWA formally launched operations as a platform neutral nonprofit organization dedicated to creating the standards frameworks needed to increase innovation across token enabled ecosystems the new organization already has 36 members, including tech firms such as Accenture, IBM, which is IBM is a governing council, and Microsoft banking and exchange firms, uh, ING, NASDAQ, SDX, and UBS, and blockchain companies, Digital uh, Asset, Neo Global Development, Hedera Hashgraph, and R3. Launch members, Accenture, Hedera Hashgraph, R3, SIX, Digital Exchange, SDX. Then we also see UBS. If you read to this point and haven't gotten a clue what I'm talking about, never mind, don't bother. And it is very, I mean, at the end of the day, it's pretty much like right in front of our face. Um, it, it's a high chance and a high probability that they will be working with HBAR. And I actually just screenshot it recently because somebody asked me, where do you see unlimited you know, transactions per second for uh, Hedera? We can see it right here, right? And I think that's a big key component in this entire use case value for this possibility because a CBDC will want, at the end of the day, unlimited transactions per second for more scalability options, but also, you know, cheap movement, uh, very quick, you know, transaction finality, and then also, you know, low power usage, which it all has. 
Uh, now we do see, you know, if we come down here, I believe it's on this page. All right, so it's not on this page. So I think it's actually on the enterprise use case. Um, so if we see down here, right, first off, IBM, it's, it's there in front of our face. So uh, for them to have that listed is very interesting because they they listed Hedera Hashgraph and IBM uh, together, which pretty much leads me to think NDLA Piper, which is also another uh, partnership with them, and Chainlink. So, so technically, I mean, there's a lot of people here, a lot of companies overall. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard to tell, but I definitely think that this could definitely be built on Hedera overall and be tested. Uh, and even if we come over here, this is what I was talking about, right? So we see first and foremost fraud mitigation and all this stuff. We've already talked about it multiple times, uh, but DLA Piper is here. Uh, we've been at uh, the forefront for helping organizations understand legal frameworks and issues in leveraging blockchain for a number of years and are also adopting such technology for our own client solutions. Hedera uniquely enables many mechanisms which are significant breakthroughs in the distributed ledger technology space. And, you know, these CBDCs will be looking for DLTs. I can tell you that right now. And the reason why DLTs are such a huge key component for CBDCs is because the technology that these ledgers are built on uh, allow for that scalability and you know which ledger has the most amount of scalability highest security value overall lowest cost fees fastest transaction speeds as well Hedera Hashgraph right we, we've already talked about this overall and then we see you know why Hedera Hashgraph and this is what I was talking about right enterprise grade security we've already talked about it verifiable timestamps uh, tamper proof real-time analysis auditable there's a whole bunch of other use cases here in value now, I believe in the payment uh, section here, because we, we've kind of went over these just a little bit. Uh, we see, I, I think it was here. Yes, so it was. So we see the central bank digital currency, right? So we see the CBC, uh, CBDCs are regulated by a country's monetary authority. We kind of already broke that down, but utilize the Hedera consensus service in combination to preserve privacy while enabling transparency and trust for national and international payments. We know for a fact right now that Hedera is doing things that are better than pretty much anything out there, including Ripple in terms of scalability. Until I see a breakthrough with Ripple's tech to you know pinpoint if it's going to be massively scalable, uh, then I could pretty much say, all right, it's justified. So you know they kind of are very similar in terms of scalability. But we already know from the overall overview of HBAR that once this you know, sharding is implemented, which we're not talking about like tomorrow or anything like that because we kind of already seen it on the roadmap, right? I kind of broke this down. That's in H2. Uh, we see sharding here, which is at like the bottom of the list. So it's going to take some time to get to that point. Um, but it is going to possibly be available in 2021. Um, but I'm thinking more so 2022 overall. So I'm not going to get my hopes up uh, fully on that. But what's very interesting here is just the idea of how scalable it is compared to most uh, like i said in my last video talking about ada it is a lot more scalable than ada overall uh, and a lot of people say that once hydra is implemented on ada that it's going to be doing 1 million transactions per second like i said <laughs> you know one that first off ada is so far behind in terms of project innovation so i don't expect that anytime soon um, but this we actually have you know some future dates to look at or at least future time periods to look at. With ADA, we don't really get that. Uh, we more so just get kind of speculation, if you will, on the overall um, pretty much structure of how the project's going to be innovated. But we do see a lot of banking systems and stuff already in terms of the governing council. Um, and a lot of these are named there, right? And uh, like I said, you know, they're going to be looking for something that is very private overall. Uh, and, you know, Hedera specializes in privacy and security overall. So CBDCs need to be secured. They need to be built on a DLT. We've talked about it w regarding the XRP ledger. Uh, and the reason why it needs to be built on a ledger is because, like I said, the ledger technology helps it run efficiently. And if the CBDC is not running efficiently, then it's going to be the same kind of technology as you know bitcoin or ethereum where it just does not work um it's it's going to cause mass amounts of fees 
etc. So it needs something similar to Hedera Hashgraph, XRP, something like that very similar because we need the high amount of transactions per second. We need the low cost fees. We need the finality to be pretty quick. And then we also need the low energy consumption. Hedera Hashgraph is the only project out there currently that I believe is competing with Visa. I think that at the end of the day, you know, HBAR is doing better than Visa in terms of the statistics, you know. So I think HBAR is the perfect candidate for CBDCs. I also think that it's the perfect candidate uh, to actually test it at, at the start because it does have 10,000 plus transactions per second. So they could run a, a ton of tests through it uh, with high you know, bandwidth coming through it as well uh, to really test if it's functional at these high tier levels. Um, but like I said, you know, Hedera's technology is unmatched currently. Um, and anybody that is going to argue that <laughs> that it's not, um, obviously is just not doing the research enough. Uh, but it's on your screen, right? It's on your screen. We know the tech behind it. People continuously tell me Ethereum 2.0, Ethereum 2.0. Ethereum 2.0 is garbage. Get it out of here. I'm telling you guys. It's not going to do anything that's innovative in the, in this space because we have already have the innovation here. We have 10,000 plus transactions with a possibility of unlimited transactions per second. Most assets out there are already doing more transactions per second than Ethereum 2.0 will be doing at launch. Also, the fees are still going to be astronomical on Ethereum 2.0 um, and the transaction confirmations time is still going to be you know high at least. Uh, and not even talking about the energy consumption and also the fees for the network to actually run. We've talked about the fees for, you know, Hedera to run overall. Uh, it, it, it's just, in my opinion, an, an incredible asset to hold. And I think that it's going to be adopted very soon, especially in the financial market and the financial, you know, sector overall. Uh, very undervalued at current levels, uh, 20 and a half cents um, is astronomically cheap for what HBAR is actually going to be doing. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below if you're very bullish on it. I mean, I'm very bullish on this, obviously. Um, but, you know, if you guys do want more free content, you guys can follow me on Twitter at NCashOfficial. And you guys could also join the Discord down in the description below for free. This has been Nick. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely, you know, consider subscribing and also liking the video. Uh, I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. Nick, peace out.